9072 Productions presents Columbia Logo Bloopers for Before I get remember for to deal with you. Naughty Bay, Columbia, Columbia, get it right. Not me, TV, Columbia. No. Anybody actually get an iPhone 5? Because I didn't. Uh, to be honest with you, I actually have an iPhone 5, but I'm not used to the screen. True, talking Ben, but right now we have a logo to do, so get to it. <laughs> Come on down, you're the next person to be on Columbia Logo Bloopers. Raffle 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 raffle. Darn, another mess up. We'll try again in two weeks. Alright, sheesh. Shush. The. Sheesh. Want your logo to be featured in the next logo bloopers? Leave your suggestion in the comments box below. Columbia logo bloopers for Starred, Microsoft Sam, Microsoft Mike, Microsoft Mary. Speakonia Mail 1, as the logo by, Speakonia Mail 4, as the central cake, Talking Tom, Talking Ben, Robosoft 3, and Pepsi 9072 as Eric, assembled by Pepsi 9072, made with Windows Movie Maker, Audacity, Speakonia, and Microsoft Paint, apps used, Talking Tom 2, and Talking Tom and Ben News, images from Logopedia. And Wikipedia, copyright 2012 Pepsi 9072 Productions, a division of WRMG Channel 4. Pepsi 9072 Productions, presents, Columbia Logo Bloopers 5, Logo Craziness. Cut. 
Where's the Olympia? I see a C but no Olympia. <laughs> Shield guy. Where is the C? I do not know, Sam. But I will try to get it right on the next take. Cut, cut, cut. The intro is not supposed to go backwards. It should go forward. <laughs> No. It is not swa 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 swa. Hey Sam. I can do that. Swa 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 swa. Hey. Who turned the lights out? And can someone please get the intro right? Otherwise I am going to have to play whack a central cake. Wait. No. 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 No 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 no. Why in the world is the WP shield up there? This is not Looney Tunes intro bloopers. This is Columbia Pictures. And the central cake comes back. Can you get out central cake? If you want to be on Logan of Bloopers, then go on our Mendefor's channel. Yes, Microsoft Sam, I will leave. If that is happy with you. <laughs> Stop the logo. The logo is not supposed to go super fast like Sonic the Hedgehog. What is with the computer operating systems on the screen? This is not OS X Mavericks, and it is certainly not Apple. It is Columbia Pictures. Can we try and get it right? Now it is Windows 8, Sam. None of us are in it. But we hope to have the voices from Windows 8 in here one day. No look here. It is the Xbox One that came up in the studio. What is next? Is Resser 11 or known as Hippo going to pop up? Now cut that out. Xbox Entertainment Studios. And plus, Microsoft does not own Columbia Pictures. Now Sam it is Xbox Live Productions. I never wanted to go to Xbox Live Productions. This is not Xbox Live Productions. It is Columbia Pictures. Can we try to get it right? Well that wraps that up. We are going to have to try again another time. And one more thing. To anybody who is out there, Happy New Year from everybody here at Pepsi 9072 Productions. If only I could have quick time, sheesh. Shush. The. 
Sheesh. Want your logo to be featured in the next episode of Columbia Logo Bloopers? Leave your suggestions in the comments box below. And keep in mind, in the next episode we are going to take your requests from the comments box. Your name will show up, and the individual logos will pop up in random order. <laughs>
logo is not supposed to be that dark and it also is not in green. Let's try and get the normal colors. Hey Sam, is there a glitch in the studio or some sort? I have not gotten a clue, Mike. But I do know that the logo is not supposed to be blue and is also not supposed to act like an earthquake. But fear not, we are gonna keep trying. Something must be wrong. Now the logo is trying to hide from us and the film is aging. Well, as they say, Mary, if you cannot succeed, you try and try again. No. The logo cannot be wavy like that. It also cannot have that raster look with the green lines. I guess the logo does not want to be detected by the police. Now the logo is in black and white and is on aged paper. Come on Columbia logo, you're better than this. No. 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 The logo should not be like that. It is supposed to not be twisted. Great. The water is back again. Get a water truck and let's move on. No. We lost the signal to the complete Columbia logo. Let's try and get it back before it is too late. We were this close of getting the logo correct. Now the power went out on us. Well, we will try again another time, so that way we can get the power back on. You want a logo on a requests episode? Now is your chance to do that. Just leave some suggestions in the comments below. Pepsi 9072 Productions presents Columbia Logo Bloopers 8 Logo Confusion has been proven. Cut. CBS Fox has nothing to do with Columbia Pictures. Can we try this again? I sure can do, Sam.
For a minute. We are not going for Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment. It is just Columbia Pictures. Let's try again. Stop these bloopers for a minute here. Who was that? It was me, Microsoft Sam. My name is, Macintosh Alex. Welcome aboard, Alex, to the crazy world of logo bloopers. Can I try out the Columbia logo and see if I can get it right? You can try it out, Alex. I am gonna let the logo I step aside for now. <laughs> Columbia Pictures is into iTunes now, and by the way, did I hear we have a newcomer in the studio? Yes you did, Mike. His name is Macintosh Alex. I think we may get more people once we get to the next couple of takes. I only came here to join the cast. Yeah, but let's try and focus on getting the logo right. Hopefully. <laughs> No, 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 this is not WCI Home Video. It just needs to be Columbia Pictures. Let's try again. Hopefully on the next take we can get the logo correct. What in the world is a DVHS? A DVHS was a high-definition VHS, Alex. I guess that means we have had something before Blu-ray came out. Not THQ. Columbia Pictures is not a video game company. Let's go ahead and get that on the bandwagon. Cut. Columbia is not a VHS company. Although it did release movies on VHS, it is not the right logo that should show up. <laughs> I assume it is not Betamax Ether. I will try again. Not even MCA Video Cassette Ink Ether. Warner Reprise video is not Columbia Pictures. Let's try one more time. Well, our time is up here. Also, Infinifilm has nothing to do with Columbia Pictures as well. We will have to try again in a month. Want a logo to be on a Columbia Logo Bloopers episode? Just comment what you want to see in the comments box below.
Hey everyone, it's Eric here once again. Welcome back to Past Ass 72 Productions. It is now time for another episode of Columbia Logo Bloopers. And uh, if you're unaware, you're wondering why are you looking at uh, my logo already? Well, uh, the main reason why I've come to you is because uh, before we begin, I just want to inform all of you that in case you may have not heard, this is to anyone who has not known about this. YouTube user Dave Madsen, as of April 7th, 2014, has closed his YouTube channel. If you don't know who he is, he was the original creator for the intro bloopers series which eventually came on to become the logo blooper series which ran for 91 episodes and that's basically what influenced uh, a lot of users especially me and uh, some others to create our own and uh, here we are at least three years later and Dave Matson is gone the two reasons that Dave Matson closed his channel was because one he uh, has a busy and personal life and two XP support was coming to an end at the time of the recording and it's been been well over two and a half weeks or so at the time of this recording since XP has came to an official extended support for the service packs and uh, basically the first time I actually watched Dave Madsen's on YouTube's intro bloopers I laughed my butt off really darn hard it, it was so funny that I just had to subscribe to the channel and it, it was still it, it was interesting and I was subscribed for most of it and uh, it was just it was just hilarious that I showed some of my friends the uh, thing too uh, YouTube's intro bloopers here we are at least a few years later and well uh, a lot of people were ticked off at least because Dave Madsen had 3,000 subscribers he thanked his loyal subscribers including of course us which we were subscribed to anyway but anyway this is a uh, really disappointing uh, that Dave Madsen closed his channel down hopefully one day he'll come back and then we'll be happy again anyways guys uh, that's gonna do it for this video I'll see you guys in my next video uh, which will be coming soon don't forget look for more Columbia logo bloopers on the way and uh, keep in mind there will be two coming uh, in June one will be coming in June 1st there will be another one 16 days later and there will be a certain movie that will be coming Coming out on Blu-ray, I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm already working on it and it's going to be an interesting one. I hope. Hope you guys enjoy it. So anyways guys, that's going to do it for me. I'm Eric from Pass Out 72 Productions. I'll see you guys in my next video coming soon. But before we begin the video, I'm now going to do a 30 second moment of silence for Dave Madsen as this part was a tribute. So anyway, thank you for listening. I'll see you guys in my next video coming soon. Bye bye. In the meantime, here's the moment of silence. Pepsi 9072 Productions presents Columbia Logo Bloopers 9. Your requests to We're not looking for Sony Pictures Television. Try again, Logo Guy. I bet we may get the color blue in here. No, no, no. Silver Pictures does not have any movies under Columbia. You fool. Might as well let the logo guy give it another go anyway. We are not looking for this logo either, since Electronic Arts owns Maxis. I could probably max out this. And yet again I got the logo wrong. 
Sure not so I know what Sam will tell me. Wait, hold it. Now, what happened? Greetings Microsoft and Speakonia Voices. I am Macintosh, Samantha. Welcome aboard, Samantha. But anyway, we have to get to a logo, so get to it. You know who you are. Cut. Universal did not take over Columbia, since Columbia is owned by Sony. I guess the PS4 must have been doing well over the past few months. Who knows? At some point we may finally get it right for once. I hope. Not looking forward to the ITV logo either. Keep going. I now present you the latest in Sony's lineup of logos. Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Which is the wrong logo anyway. We're not on Shaw. Next! You don't know Jack? More like you don't know bullcrap, lol. And once again we failed. We will try again in a month. But before you guys go away and do some things I would like to tell you when the next Columbia Log of Bloopers are gonna be up. Here is what will be up for June. June 1st will be Columbia Log of Bloopers 10, The Car Connection. And as for June 17th, there will be another episode of Columbia Log of Bloopers. Since there will be a certain movie coming out on Blu-ray. But you're wondering, what is it? Well I cannot tell you, and if you know it then do not say it in the comments. See you all in the next Columbia Log of Bloopers episode. This is Sam, ruffling out.
Lego Mixels? More like Lego Pixels. Must be one of those days. Oh, what happened here? Did someone just warp the screen? The Columbia logo must have took some steroids today. And I think that may be the problem, Sam. I hope it did not. We don't want to end up in Columbia Logo Blooper 7, the video effect disaster. Also for one thing. We don't want to get blocked from seeing the logo. Oh my gosh! The Columbia logo is on drugs today! That sucks! We are gonna need some paramedics here. And fast. Something tells me we must have started on the wrong track here. Hopefully things will get better soon. Well, this will take a while to do. Now apparently the background is losing its signal and there is nothing we can do about it. If there is one thing that we can do, that is to just sit back and watch all the logos go one by one. Fair enough, Mike. Let's move on. Now it is Lego City. Come on Logo Guy, can you do any better than that? I can try, Samantha. But it won't be easy. Where is the Columbia theme? It is not there. Try again, logo guy. Now it's Lego Racers. Gee, I wonder if we're ever gonna get it right. Only time can tell, Mike. Let's march on and see what we get next. Man, how many Lego things are there? There must be a ton and it seems we can't get out of it for some reason. Not this either. Continuing on. That's the greatest part of all. No sound in the logo at all. Can we fix the sound issue in the logo please? Wrong again, sir. Wrong again, sir. One more try should do it. Well, that's kinda have to wrap it up. And since we're on this logo, Hey you, the viewers. If you love the Lego Movie, make sure to get your copy of the Lego Movie today in Blu-ray or DVD, which was the whole purpose of the video. See ya guys in the next vid. One more thing, before the video is done with, I also would like to remind you that Eric already has his copy of the movie. Anyway, bye.
Android, the operating system that is not good has iOS, but known to have a lot of phones through it. Can Android be as bad as Windows Phone, like taking a garbage bag and making it look as bad as a hippo taking more than a peanut? <laughs> The Google Play Store, do we get to play with Google on this service? Mike, the Google Play Store, formerly the Android Marketplace, is similar to the App Store that we mentioned in the last episode. Oh, well I should look more into these kind of things. Otherwise I will be stupid. The Nexus One, the device that started the whole Nexus line. It certainly did. Besides, the Nexus One was one of the few phones to have the trackball below. I guess it marked the end of that afterwards. I used to own the Nexus One, but then I got rid of it. Now we have just Droid, the phone series made by Motorola. Can this be the Blackberry of today? Blackberry may never seem to ever come back and be the king again. Besides, I have not seen a Droid device in about a year or so. Motorola currently is owned by Lenovo, formerly Google actually owned them. Maybe we could see a new Droid device in the future. <laughs> The Amazon Fire Phone, aka the failure that needs no introduction. How many cameras does it have on there? Sure that may be impressive and all, but it does not save the fact that the phone sucks. Next. The Samsung Galaxy S5. How many are there? I hope there is not going to be a Samsung Galaxy S6. But of course it will happen. If the phone is so popular, Sam, then that means that there will be yet another version of that phone. And there is nothing you can do about it. Oh well. HTC One M8, the sequel to last year's HTC One. That phone apparently has good specs and all. But bet I am not getting it. I am pretty sure I would stick to Apple. The Samsung Galaxy Note, the phone with a stylus. We need enough? Actually Mary, the correct term for calling the note is a tablet. A combination between a phone and a tablet. I also heard that the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge was announced as well. But it is so lame. Well said. What the heck is Oya? It apparently was a Kickstarter campaign. Looks okay. I may buy it. One of these days. The Sony X Perian series. I'd rather experience Windows XP than Sony's X Peria. Xperia phones did use to run on Windows Mobile, I could not care. The LG G3, the phone that has a Quad HD display, not many of these kinds of phones have been released. Besides the Note 4 which is coming. 
Even with that kind of display, I am not getting the G3. <laughs> The HTC first, more like the HTC fail. It is a Facebook phone that failed to offer such great stuff. You mean Facebook, anyway, this and the HTC change it were fails anyway. Hopefully no other Facebook phones get released. <laughs> The Samsung Galaxy Tab S, this is the third time in a row, now that we have mentioned Samsung in this video. No wonder Samsung is so popular, whatever. I do not mind anyway. The Nexus 5, made by LG, we can all safely say that it is okay. Still not reached yet. One more try should do this. And yet again we have failed. We're trying yet again tomorrow, this is Sam ruffling out. Embassy Suites Hotels, the hotel, that seems to not have much comfort. I have been to an Embassy Suites before, and I'd prefer bacon any day of the week. Good thing you like bacon. But, let's try this again. <laughs> Holiday Inn Express, you think that, when it is titled Holiday, you could go on one? That would be too clever Mike, then again would you want to go on a holiday? Possibly in the month of nothing. <laughs> Days in, you could go there but I am so confused about the name of the place. The place is so bad, I would not go there any day of the week. 
so stay away. Tree by Hilton. Known for serving the chocolate chip cookies with walnuts inside. I want that cookie so bad, but too bad I cannot have it. You will get it one day, give it to the highway. <laughs> Still fail? Well try the new, let's try again drink, brought to you by Microsoft Sam. Still not correct. And we sail again. Well, that is a wrap, everyone. See you next month. This is the crew here. R-O-S-L-I-M-G out.